Have you ever felt like you're pushing too hard against the current of life? What if the secret to peace and happiness lies in the art of letting go? In this video, we will explore the profound Zen wisdom that teaches us not to force anything in our lives. We'll delve into the Buddhist perspective on effort, surrender, and the natural flow of existence. Buddhism teaches us that life is like a river. When we try to swim against the current, we struggle and tire ourselves out. But when we learn to float and move with the water, we find harmony and ease. This doesn't mean we should be passive or inactive. Instead, it's about recognizing the right moment for action and the right moment to step back. The concept of Wu Wei, or non-doing, is central to Zen Buddhism. It's the understanding that sometimes the most powerful action is inaction. By not forcing our will upon the world, we open ourselves up to the wisdom of life itself, allowing things to unfold naturally. 1. The Art of Letting Go In the journey of life, the art of letting go is a central theme in Buddhist teachings, particularly within the Zen tradition. It is a practice that transcends mere philosophical understanding. It is a way of living, a method of aligning oneself with the fundamental nature of existence. To let go is to release our tight grip on expectations, desires, and the illusion of control. It is to understand that the more we try to force outcomes, the more we entangle ourselves in the web of dissatisfaction. Buddhism teaches that suffering arises from attachment. Attachment to ideas, outcomes, and the belief that we can steer life in the direction we desire through sheer willpower. Letting go is not about inaction or indifference, Rather, it's about cultivating a state of openness and receptivity. It's about recognizing that while we can plant seeds, we cannot dictate when or how they will grow. We can nurture them, but ultimately, their blossoming is subject to a multitude of conditions beyond our control. In Zen, this concept is often illustrated through nature. A tree does not force its leaves to unfurl, nor does a flower strain to bloom. They are in harmony with the rhythm of life, responding naturally to the conditions that surround them. Similarly, when we let go, we allow life to unfold in its own time and way, trusting that whatever comes is exactly what is needed for our growth. The practice of letting go begins with mindfulness, being fully present in the moment. It is in the here and now that we can observe the impermanence of all things. By witnessing the constant flux of life, we learn not to cling to any particular state, we see that happiness and sorrow, gain and loss, praise and blame are all transient and do not define us. Letting go also involves compassion, both for ourselves and others. It requires us to forgive, to release grudges and resentments that bind us to the past. It asks us to look at our pain and the pain of others with a gentle heart, understanding that holding on only perpetuates suffering. Ultimately, the art of letting go is about finding freedom. It is the realization that we are not the sum of our thoughts or experiences. We are the spacious awareness in which all thoughts and experiences arise and fall. As we let go, we open ourselves to a deeper connection with life, a sense of peace that is not dependent on external circumstances, and the wisdom to navigate the world with grace and ease. In embracing the art of letting go, we align ourselves with the natural flow of life. We become like the river that moves with grace around obstacles, not through force, but through yielding. This is the essence of Zen wisdom, the heart of Buddhist teaching, and the key to a life lived in harmony with all that is. 2. Understanding Life's Current In the vast and intricate teachings of Buddhism, particularly within the Zen tradition, there is a profound emphasis on understanding the current of life. This metaphorical current represents the ever-flowing, ever-changing nature of existence. To understand life's current is to comprehend the Buddhist concept of impermanence, known as Enika in Pali. Impermanence is the idea that all things are in a constant state of flux. Nothing is static. Everything is continually changing. The current of life carries us through a series of transformations, birth, aging, sickness, and death. These are the natural cycles of existence, and they extend beyond the physical to our thoughts, emotions, and experiences. 
To understand this current is to see the world as it truly is, not as we wish it to be. It is to observe without attachment, to experience without clinging, and to participate without the need to control. In Zen Buddhism, this understanding is cultivated through meditation and mindfulness practices, which bring clarity and insight into the true nature of reality. The current of life is also about interdependence. Just as a river is made up of countless drops of water, each of us is part of a larger whole. Our actions and existence are interconnected with everything around us. Recognizing this interdependence helps us to see that our individual efforts are part of a collective flow and that we can work in harmony with it rather than against it. Understanding life's current means embracing change. It is about being adaptable and flexible, like water that molds itself to the container it fills. This adaptability is a source of strength in Buddhism. It allows us to face life's challenges with resilience, knowing that change is not only inevitable, but also the mechanism through which growth and development occur. In the context of not forcing anything in life, understanding the current means recognizing when to exert effort and when to yield. It is knowing that there are times to paddle and steer, and there are times to lift the oars and let the river guide us. This wisdom prevents us from exhausting ourselves by struggling against the natural course of events. To understand life's current is ultimately to find peace. It is to live with a sense of ease, even amidst the world's turmoil. It is to trust in the journey, to have faith that the river knows its destination, and to allow ourselves to be carried by its wisdom. This understanding is not passive. It is an active engagement with life that is aligned with the deepest truths of our existence. By understanding life's current, we align ourselves with the ebb and flow of the universe. We learn to navigate life with grace, to accept the coming and going of all things, and to find serenity in the knowledge that we are part of something much greater than ourselves. This is the heart of Zen wisdom and the essence of Buddhist teaching on the art of living harmoniously within the currents of life. 3. Effort and Surrender in Buddhism In the teachings of Buddhism, particularly within the Zen tradition, the concepts of effort and surrender are deeply intertwined and hold significant importance. The balance between these two aspects is essential for navigating the path of spiritual growth and enlightenment. Effort in Buddhism is not about striving for material success or personal gain. It is about diligent practice, the commitment to mindfulness, and the cultivation of virtues such as compassion, loving-kindness, and wisdom. This effort is directed inward, towards self-improvement and understanding the true nature of reality. It is the effort to overcome the defilements of the mind, such as greed, hatred, and delusion, which are seen as the root causes of suffering. However, this effort must be balanced with surrender. Surrender in this context does not imply defeat or passivity. Instead, it is an acknowledgement of the limits of our control. It is a recognition that despite our best efforts, there are aspects of life that are beyond our influence. Surrender is the acceptance of life as it is, not as we want it to be. It is letting go of attachment to outcomes and embracing the present moment with openness and equanimity. The concept of right effort is one of the elements of the Noble Eightfold Path, which is the Buddhist prescription for ending suffering. Right effort involves cultivating wholesome states of mind and preventing or eliminating unwholesome states. It is about making a conscious choice to direct our mental energies in ways that lead to peace and liberation. Surrender, on the other hand, is closely related to the teaching of anatta, or non-self. It is the understanding that there is no unchanging permanent self that controls our experiences. With this realization, we can let go of the ego's grasp and surrender to the flow of life. This surrender is not a loss, but a profound gain, a freedom from the constraints of self-centered existence. In practice, effort and surrender are like two wings of a bird. Both are necessary for the bird to soar. Effort without surrender can lead to burnout and frustration, while surrender without effort can result in complacency and stagnation. Together, they allow us to engage with life fully, to work towards our goals with dedication, but without attachment to the results. In Zen, 
This balance is often exemplified through the metaphor of archery. The archer puts in the effort to aim and release the arrow, but once the arrow is in flight, the archer surrenders to the outcome. The target may be hit or missed, but either way, the archer remains centered and ready for the next shot. Effort and surrender in Buddhism teach us to act with intention, to live with purpose, and to accept the unfolding of life with grace. They guide us to find the middle way, a path of moderation that leads to harmony, well-being, and the ultimate realization of our true nature. 4. The Principle of Wu Wei Wu Wei, a concept integral to Taoism and adopted by Zen Buddhism, is often translated as non-action or effortless action. This principle is not about inactivity, but about the subtlety of action aligned with the rhythms of the natural world. It is action that is spontaneous, unforced, and in harmony with the environment and the situation. Wu Wei is the understanding that the universe operates on fundamental principles and patterns, which the Taoists call the Tao or the Way. When one aligns with the Tao, actions become effortless because they are in perfect resonance with the flow of life. This is akin to a leaf floating down a river, moving with the current rather than against it. In the context of Zen Buddhism, Wu Wei is reflected in the practice of mindfulness and presence. It is about being so fully attuned to the present moment that our actions arise naturally from this state of awareness. When we are present, we respond to the needs of the moment without hesitation or second-guessing. This is the state of no mind or motion, where the mind is free from clutter and distraction, allowing for clarity and purity of action. Wu Wei also implies a deep trust in the process of life. It is a surrender to the unfolding of events, trusting that each moment brings with it the opportunity for the right action. This trust is not passive. It is an active engagement with life that does not rely on force or manipulation to achieve its ends. The practice of Wu Wei involves letting go of ego-driven desires and ambitions. It is recognizing that the need to control outcomes stems from a place of fear and insecurity. By releasing these fears, we open ourselves to the spontaneity of life, allowing our actions to be guided by wisdom and compassion rather than by the desire for personal gain. In practical terms, Wu Wei can be seen in the way a skilled artist or craftsman works. When a painter loses themselves in their art or a musician becomes one with the music, they are embodying Wu Wei. Their actions are not forced, but arise naturally from years of practice and a deep connection with their craft. Wu Wei does not mean that we abandon planning or forethought. It means that while we may have plans, we remain flexible and open to change. We are prepared to adapt when unexpected situations arise, responding with grace and ease rather than resistance. To live according to the principle of Wu Wei is to live a life of balance and harmony. It is to understand that true strength comes not from exerting power over life, but from aligning with its inherent wisdom. It is to act with integrity, without the need for recognition or applause, and to find joy in the simple act of being in harmony with the Tao. In essence, Wu Wei teaches us that the most profound impact we can have may come not from forceful action, but from a place of centered calmness, where our actions are a natural response to the needs of the world around us. 5. The Power of an Action In the realm of Zen Buddhism, the power of an action is a concept that may seem counterintuitive in a world that often values constant activity and productivity. However, inaction, within this philosophical context, is not about laziness or neglect. It is about the intentional choice to not act when action is not necessary or could be harmful. Inaction is a form of wisdom and strength. It is the recognition that not all situations require our interference, and sometimes, the best course of action is to allow things to take their natural course. This principle is deeply rooted in the understanding of the law of cause and effect, known as karma in Buddhism. Every action has a reaction, and sometimes, refraining from action can prevent the creation of negative consequences. The power of inaction is also about patience. It is waiting for the right moment to act, rather than acting out of impulse or pressure. 
In Zen stories, masters often teach their disciples the virtue of patience by encouraging them to observe and wait, to let the answer come to them rather than rushing to find it. Inaction is a strategic tool in the path to enlightenment. It is the space where we allow our minds to clear and our intuition to speak. In the silence of inaction, we can hear the subtle truths that busy minds often drown out. It is in these moments of stillness that we can find clarity and insight. The practice of meditation is perhaps the most profound expression of the power of inaction. In meditation, we sit still, we breathe, and we observe. We do not try to change our thoughts or feelings. We simply witness them. This practice teaches us that there is power in presence, in simply being rather than constantly doing. Inaction does not mean we abandon our responsibilities or ignore the needs of others. It means we act with intention and purpose. When we do choose to act, our actions are more effective because they come from a place of calm and considered thought. The power of inaction is also about trust. Trust in the natural order of things, trust in the wisdom of life, and trust in ourselves. It is believing that we are part of a larger tapestry and our individual threads will weave into the pattern at the right time. To embrace the power of inaction is to understand that action and inaction are two sides of the same coin. They are both necessary for a balanced life. It is knowing when to move and when to be still, when to speak and when to listen, when to hold on and when to let go. This balance is the essence of Zen wisdom and it is a powerful guide for living a life of harmony and peace. 6. Trusting the Natural Flow Trusting the natural flow of life is a fundamental tenet of Zen Buddhism, embodying the belief that there is an inherent order and intelligence to the way life unfolds. This trust is not passive. It is an active alignment with life's inherent wisdom, recognizing that there is a time for action and a time for allowing. Trusting the natural flow means having faith in the process of life, even when it leads us through unknown or challenging territories. It is the understanding that life, in its essence, is a dynamic interplay of various forces and energies that move in a harmonious balance. Just as the seasons change without effort and the tides rise and fall with the moon, there is a rhythm to life that operates beyond our conscious control. In Zen practice, Trusting the natural flow is often cultivated through meditation. As we sit in silence, we observe the rise and fall of our breath, the coming and going of thoughts, and the ever-changing sensations within our bodies. This observation teaches us about the transient nature of all things and helps us to develop a deep trust in the natural order of life. This trust is also about surrendering to the moment. It is about letting go of our expectations and preconceived notions of how things should be. When we surrender, we open ourselves to the full range of experiences life has to offer, accepting both joy and pain with equanimity. Trusting the natural flow does not mean we abdicate responsibility or become fatalistic. On the contrary, it empowers us to act with greater clarity and purpose. When we trust, we are more attuned to the needs of the present moment and our actions become more responsive and less reactive. The concept of trust is closely linked to the Buddhist understanding of karma. Karma is not a deterministic fate, but a law of cause and effect. By trusting the natural flow, we align our actions with positive intentions, creating beneficial effects for ourselves and others. Trusting the natural flow also involves embracing uncertainty. In a world that often demands predictability and security, Trusting the flow requires courage. It is a willingness to step into the unknown, confident that each step we take is part of a larger journey towards growth and enlightenment. Ultimately, trusting the natural flow is about finding peace amidst the chaos of life. It is about recognizing that there is a wisdom to the way things happen, even if we cannot always understand it. It is about living with an open heart and an open mind, ready to receive the lessons and blessings that life offers. By trusting the natural flow, we tap into a source of strength and resilience that allows us to navigate life's ups and downs with grace. We learn to flow with life rather than against it, and in doing so, 
we discover the true freedom that comes from living in harmony with the natural world. 7. Harmony with the Universe Harmony with the universe in Zen Buddhism is the profound understanding that we are an integral part of a larger cosmic dance. It's about aligning our inner rhythm with the natural world, recognizing that every element, from the smallest grain of sand to the vastness of space, is interconnected. Harmony with the universe is the realization that our individual lives are not isolated occurrences, but are deeply woven into the fabric of existence. This realization brings with it a sense of responsibility and humility, as we acknowledge that our actions have far-reaching consequences beyond our immediate perception. To live in harmony is to live with mindfulness, being fully aware of our thoughts, emotions, and actions. It's about making choices that reflect our understanding of this interconnectedness, choices that foster balance and well-being not just for ourselves, but for all beings. This is the essence of the Buddhist principle of ahimsa, or non-harm, which guides us to live in a way that minimizes suffering in the world. Zen Buddhism encourages us to find harmony by simplifying our lives, removing the clutter of material desires and the noise of unnecessary distractions. This simplicity allows us to focus on what truly matters, the quality of our presence and the depth of our compassion. It is in the simple acts of kindness and the quiet moments of reflection that we often find the greatest harmony. Harmony with the universe also involves embracing change. In Zen, change is not seen as a disruption, but as a natural progression of life's inherent dynamism. By accepting change, we flow with the universe rather than resist it. We become adaptable, resilient, and open to new possibilities. The practice of Zen meditation is a direct path to experiencing harmony. As we sit in stillness, we align ourselves with the rhythm of the universe. We breathe with it, move with it, and in doing so, we find a peace that is not disturbed by the external world's fluctuations. Harmony is also about balance between giving and receiving, speaking and listening, doing and being. It's about finding the middle way, a path that avoids extremes, and allows us to live with grace and ease. In Zen, harmony with the universe is often symbolized by the Enso, a circle drawn with a single brushstroke. This circle represents the completeness of the universe and our place within it. It reminds us that everything is perfect as it is, and our task is to recognize this perfection in the ordinariness of our lives. To cultivate harmony with the universe is to live with a sense of connection to all that is. It is to act with intention, love without condition, and walk gently upon the earth. It is to recognize that we are not just in the universe, but that we are the universe, experiencing itself in myriad forms and expressions. This is the ultimate wisdom of Zen, a call to live in profound harmony with the great expanse of existence. In conclusion, the teachings of Zen Buddhism offer us a profound understanding of how to live in harmony with the natural flow of life. It encourages us to embrace the art of letting go, to understand the impermanent and interdependent nature of existence, and to balance effort with surrender. Through the principle of Wu Wei, we learn the power of action that is in alignment with the universe, and through the power of inaction, we discover the strength that lies in patience and trust. Zen wisdom teaches us to trust the process of life, to accept change as a natural and necessary part of growth, and to find peace in the present moment. It guides us to live with simplicity, authenticity, and compassion, contributing positively to the interconnected web of life. By cultivating harmony with the universe, we align ourselves with the cosmic dance, finding our place within the vastness of existence. We learn to act with intention, to love without condition, and to walk gently upon the earth, recognizing that we are the universe experiencing itself. As we integrate these teachings into our lives, we find that we are not just navigating life's currents but becoming one with them, moving with grace and ease towards a state of inner peace and outer harmony. This is the essence of Zen, a path that leads us to the heart of true freedom and joy. If you found solace in these teachings, subscribe for more Zen wisdom. Share this journey with others, and let's embrace the art of living in harmony.
Click the bell icon to stay updated with our latest reflections.